very important to me in you know, the activities that I choose to do, how I live my life. They create the balance that I've talked about and um, they keep me very grounded. And I know, you know, my family was right beside me when I was stepping up on an Olympic podium and they were also right beside me when I was crying tears of devastation when I fell off the Olympic podium in Vancouver. So they love me regardless of my victories or, or my losses and so they keep me very, very, I just feel whole and loved. I feel very fortunate. Well, I've been doing this sport a long time, 17 years this, this coming fall. And I would say when I was younger and slightly naive, I thought that if only I could have that almighty title of being an Olympian, that would somewhat define me and make me a better person and more respected and all these accolades that you think come along with that title. And when I failed to make the 2002 Olympic team, that my whole world sort of came crashing down. And it was definitely a pivotal time in, in my life and in my career as an athlete of what choice do I go on? I could very easily quit or do I dig a little deeper and, and find a way to get there? And uh, four years later, I found myself stepping up on the Olympic podium. And that was amazing. And it was a very good lesson to learn also because I figured out that I'm still me. It didn't change who I am and uh, it was a great accomplishment and it was a wonderful experience but I think it didn't it didn't make me a better person it didn't make me more popular all those things that you're always kind of earning you know trying striving to to be when you're younger so heading into the 2010 Olympic Games when I was going in number one expected to win the gold medal I when I failed to do so of course, it was, it was crushing and devastating, but it also, it was a good lesson to learn that it didn't define me. My sport doesn't define me. Those are great, there were great lessons learned. I also think that if I would have won a medal of any color, I don't think I would have grown near as much as a person. And, and that's what I learned from 2002. The, the four years going into 2006, the amount of growth that I had was, was huge compared to the growth that I had from 20, 2006 to 2010. I wouldn't say I grew as much as an athlete or as a person after accomplishing one of the biggest goals of my life. So I'm really excited to see what's going to happen in the next four years as we head to Sochi. In my opinion, it's a pretty sad reality of, of how we are handling our, our healthy, active lifestyles. Everybody is wanting things quickly, quick results, whether that's our, our fast food or the least amount of effort when it comes down to physical effort of whether you choose to drive in a car or just jump on your bike to go down to the convenience store. And I think what we need to do is you have to take responsibility for your own health. And attractivity is, is an easy solution to help keep you accountable because nobody else is gonna do it for you. And sure, there's doctors out there that are trying to give you some type of prescription or uh, a plan, and really, you have to own up to it yourself.